another episode ready to go They're gonna talk about the good and the trash and anything in between Cherishing they believe get ready for Halloween It's the horror show I know you miss those guys Tune in and find out what's on their list tonight They butcher and dissect Take apart and mutilate Listen to your two favorite brainiacs communicate It's the horror show Hello everybody and welcome to the horror show Show dissects, mutilates, dismembers and butchers All of your favorite and not so favorite horror movies and other horror related events i'm sean i'm joe hello joe what's going on nothing low energy episode for me today how are how are you doing um you know kind of the same i'm a, I'm a little tired just got back from rhode island i know you got a headache yeah well the good news is uh we got a g- real exciting film to talk, <laughs> to, to, to <laughs> talk about. what an episode to be low energy for right <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh guys, we uh we are doing Head of the Family, uh uh a full moon picture uh from nineteen ninety six. Uh we we decided to break the <laughs> the fucking video game thing. I couldn't do another fucking video game movie. They're fucking atrocious. <laughs> They're painful. Uh <laughs> I, I I you know, I, I couldn't do another one. I forget what was even up next. D- Double Dragon. <laughs> it's either Double Dragon or Street Fighter. <laughs> Which, honestly, I'm probably just going to watch. And then we, we could do it for Patreon or something. <laughs> I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna do the same. Because I am morbidly intrigued. I am now, too. Just that, because that would just, I mean, we've watched so many of them anyway. So, like, just, like, let's just finish it out. <laughs> Dude, on, on the topic of Street Fighter, the game has been out for how many years? Like, 30, right? Like, 30, yeah. 30 or something close to it. The fact that they had a character that looked like Mike Tyson and named him M. Bison and then said his first name was Mike is still one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> Couldn't get the rights to put his fucking image in it, so you do it anyways. Just call him M. Bison. <laughs> That's fucking funny. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck is this? Um, yeah, I need to... Uh, I need to... I want to find what our next, um, where, where was that? Was it in movies? In our discord, we have a pinned, we have a pinned thread. Oh, here we go. Um, so starting next week, do we want to start the, uh, the, 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 uh, D'Amato, uh, what's his name? D'Amato, um, Maddie. Maddie. Yes. I'm, very excited for it, and I don't know why, because I know I know as soon as we finish the first week, I'm going to be like, why the fuck <laughs> did we agree to do this? But I, I'm honestly very excited, and I know you're pulling it up right now, but Devin, Redneck Stomp, who, who many are becoming very acquainted with. <laughs> um, <laughs> Whether they like I mean, it or that's not. That's a good thing. I, I, I mean, that's a good thing. Um, but they are. His name is becoming part of the jargon. Um he put together a schedule for us and it's themed and the movies are like their most well-known ones too. So it's honestly the most perfect lineup you could do for this. And it's way better than what I would have thrown together. <laughs> uh, Fucking mess. Oh dude, I was thinking the same thing. Mine would have been a mess that had no real connections <laughs> and definitely like, I haven't seen them. So, you know, like, like I would probably get to a week where we're like, Oh, these are both awful. Um, he has, which is true. I've seen Joe D'Amato movies, which are barely visible. And I mean that, like it's, you know, you know when VHSs used to get warped and it was all like, like, like the Spice Channel. I've seen full length features that he filmed like that. It's like you can't, you can't watch these. <laughs> so he came up with five weeks. If we can get through five weeks, I'll be shocked. Um, <laughs> I feel like we might call it off after a little while because it's also two movies a week. Unless it's two movies a week, but I do like that it'll change our format a little bit, so you don't have to go scene by scene. That's true. That's true. Bullshit. So that's true. So first up is Shameless Ripoffs Week, uh, which is Absurd versus Shocking Dark. Absurd, I know of. Shocking Dark, I don't think I've ever seen. I've seen Absurd, never seen Shocking Dark. What a name! I think Shocking that's his Terminator. Dark. I think that's Maddie's Terminator ripoff, though. Oh my god! It absolutely is. If, this is if I remember absurd. I think it's Halloween, but I, I don't know what. I don't know if that's what they're saying. It ripped off. Hey, also, um, one hundred percent. They were trying to call it Terminator Two. 
when it got. That's what's the best thing about <laughs> Italian films is that they could just they were just doing that. Like, can you imagine just making a movie and being like, uh, "This is Avatar two or like this is Titanic two? Like, that, and that's what they did. It's fucking incredible. Shocking dark. It has a different direct. Oh no, directed by Bruno Matti. Did it? Did did he claim it was directed by somebody else? <laughs> Wait, there, there is, there is a movie. It's like the reverse Toby Hooper Poltergeist. Yeah, we talked about it last week. I think he he did a okay. movie, and then <laughs> or, or, he actually did it, and then like claimed it was somebody else. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, no. It's the two of them. I think. Yes, it I'm was. Pretty it sure, was. I'm it pretty was. sure D'Amato directed it and tried to say it was Maddie. <laughs> yes, that's what it was. Brilliant. <laughs> that's the most psychotic move of all time. And he was like, I, I fucking didn't. He's like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I love it. Oh. Uh, and and I always, it always cracks me up like when you look at these guys' pictures. Because if you watch these movies, you would just think it's some horned up like 18-year-old, right? <laughs> and you see these guys' pictures, and they're like grizzled grandfathers at the time <laughs> that they're directing it. It's, Giant fucking glasses. <laughs> dude, Ful- dude, Fulci and, and Maddie and D'Amato, like, they're disgusting and old. It's unbelievable. Here, you know, Shocking Dark, and I know we're only on week one, <laughs> but Shocking Dark says, uh, despite the film's original title, which was Terminator 2, um, <laughs> <laughs> and artwork, which, by the way, is the Terminator artwork. It's, it's a man with a red eye and sunglasses. <laughs> It's, and his face is half ripped and you see a computer underneath. Um, it's not, uh, the plot has more in common with 1986's Aliens. (laughs) I love it. (laughs) Uh, Maddie's film was not released in the United States, uh, specifically because of, uh, licensing problems, which, yeah, I can imagine, I can fucking imagine I'm curious as we go through this if that's Maddie's mo, you know, making it look like a Terminator knockoff, but then actually making it aliens. Because in Cruel Jaws, he just chops. I, I've said it before on the show, but he chops up the Star Wars theme over and over and over again. It's like, why are you not just chopping up the Jaws theme? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, it is primarily a ripoff of John Cameron's Alien. <laughs> that's my. This is my new favorite fact about this movie: Terminator Two. It's so weird, though, because the poster says directed by Vincent Dawn. Or, is that his alias? It, yeah. it has to be, because I don't see anyone listed here as Vincent Dawn. That's why I was like, who directed this? The poster says, <laughs> whatever. I can't fucking deal with this. You're calling it Terminator 2, <laughs> but not being Terminator. <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> Dude, two years before Terminator 2 actually came out, so he thought he, he thought he could do it. <laughs> oh, after that, he has video nasties, which like, fuck, come on, they're all literally every single one of them is, but that's fine. Uh, he did pick two disgusting movies, <laughs> and, Anthropophagus and uh, Hell of the Living Dead. I'm very excited for both of those, to be honest with you. Hell of the Living Dead. I haven't seen Dead. Anthropophagus in so long. If Hell of the Living Dead is the one, I'm like 90% sure I've seen this one. If it opens with a rat that bites somebody, and you're like, oh man, because it's got a goblin score in it. Um, oh yeah, this is it. This is fucking it. It's This movie fucking rules. Hell of the Living Dead fucking rocks. Um, but dude, it opens with a goblin score, so of course you're like, oh my god. Like, I'm in for a tree. <laughs> it's a fucking dog shit movie. <laughs> And you're like, how does this happen? Uh, I love it, though. I love it. I love it. Um, He tried to create, a, for Hell of the Living Dead, he tried to create his Dawn of the Dead, but wanted it a little lighter in a, in a tone. <laughs> and Anthropophagus is a guy that eats himself, so. <laughs> Spoilers. Also, the, the, the anthropophagus looks like Joe Spinell. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Um, the next week is Animal Attack. If I'm probably going to cut a, a week, it would probably be Animal Animals Attack. It's Killer Birds Dude, versus you, Rats. 
But dude, then you cut out rats. I know, that's the problem. <laughs> rats. <laughs> rats has the most predictable, most stupid ending of all time, but the entire time me and Paul watched it, we're like, there's no way he's actually going to do this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, fucking hollered. I remember it distinctly. Like that, it was like a running punchline. Like, can't wait for the end to be this. But and then he did it. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, uh, that's amazing. Also, can I just tell you? Uh, since the Discord opened, um, my love for or not my love, my like, um, uh, my my interest in doing. Like diving deeper into the horror films has has peaked a little bit more. Sure. Have you have you found that to be true or or no? No, I I do. I I, I kind of want to get back to the roots. Um, I, I guess in typical horror show fashion, we can interrupt our talking of the schedule <laughs> when we're almost done with it. <laughs> this two weeks left, to to talk about Discord because um, it, it it's been really fun. We, we had a, a, an influx of followers. We've been doing a bunch of you know stuff on it. it like it's so much easier to be interactive now. I, I, I'm really glad that we're doing it. Really, I'm really enjoying interacting with everyone. And I do want to plug Redneck Stomp Devin, uh, who not only put together this lineup, but yesterday on Saturday he put together a live stream that he he grabbed clips from 1991 because the movie was from 1991. So he made like previews beforehand. He played mu- music videos beforehand, and then he. Uh, Played Rock Shock'em Dead, aka Rock'em Dead. Which is fucking idiotic. But, uh, <laughs> sh- shout out, to, sh- shout out to Devin. He did it for like the. It was uh, for the first week. We did it for like the highest tier. Um, but I'm, I'd be well. You know, we should we should open it up. Yeah, no, more the highest tier really thing. Fun. I don't. Th- I don't even know if he realized he uh, he requested that that night before. Um, so. Yeah. And, and, and to bust Devin's chops because we're being a little too nice to him, uh, he was like worried that we might like frown upon it. Like Devin, we wouldn't fucking trust you to do this if we didn't. You know, yeah, we like your your input and in, in your knowledge. So I would uh, just message thank you, you for doing that. Stop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, why the fuck would we let you do that? Um, but no, it, it, it was good. Uh, the people who partook in it really enjoyed it. So looking forward to to more. So join us. Join us on Discord. <laughs> absolutely man it's been it's been a lot of fun but yeah it's definitely like reignited something where i want to like even in my spare time i'm finding myself being like oh i'm gonna check out like this movie like just to watch not for the show um and uh so i appreciate that that can i can i talk about that for a second yeah that is such like a a struggle with me because there's so many times a movie pops up and i'm like i really want just want to watch it on my own but then I debate doing it because I know in like three weeks we'll be like, uh, we should do this for the show. And <laughs> I'll have to watch it again because I won't remember. You know, I, I wasn't. It's just like, the show's ruined my life. No. <laughs> no. Uh, it's just something that I, uh, I struggle with. I, I, I struggle I with it too. It I struggle with it too. But I think I did it with a movie recently where I tested it out. I, and I was like, let's see how agonizing this is. Where I watched it. <laughs> this is psychotic. I watched it all the way through. I watched it all the way through just watching it. And then I watched it again for the show the next day. And, <laughs> and, and <laughs> there was like a dual purpose to it. It was to see if it made taking like the second time I watched it, I like scanned through, I skimmed through it. Right. Cause I was like, okay, I've seen it. I kind of know what I want to talk about. And then I skimmed through it the second time to see if it was easier to take notes that way or like, I don't know, just was like less of a chore because I'm I'm fine that these fucking movies, I take notes on shit because they're so poorly made. (laughs) And you're like, oh, I should note about this scene. This scene doesn't pay off. And then I've just written and and like rewound three times about something that goes unnoticed. So... (laughs) I don't know. Like, I'm, I think that's what's allowing me to branch out. I'm like, oh, that's not that bad. Like, I can do that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just scam, scam it. But, um, yeah. All right. Next up on the schedule. Uh, a sequel. A sequel, but not really. Uh, <laughs> Z- uh, Zombie 3 versus Beyond the Darkness. <laughs> nice. I, what is Beyond the Darkness supposed to be a sequel of? Uh, <laughs> let's find out. 
Beyond the Darkness. I, I I legitimately like Beyond the Darkness, by the way. I think it's my favorite of D'Amato's movies. Um, It is... Well, I'm not going to find that info on IMDb, although maybe I would. I don't know. Oh, this is Buyo Omega or whatever, however you yes. pronounce it. Oh. <laughs> Let's find out. What is this a sequel to? In Spain, the film was marketed as a sequel to House. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And in Mexico, it was advertised as a sequel to uh, uh, Zombie. That makes a little more sense. But then Zombie 3. Then we're doing Zombie 3. (laughs) Which which, isn't the technical title for Zombie, Zombie 2. Yeah. Because it's being marketed marketed as as a sequel to Romero's movies. This is (laughs) mind-blowing. This is like hurting my brain. This is hurting my fucking brain. (laughs) Can you imagine being like a horror fan in these countries? They must be so fucking confused. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> talk about like a quality drop like they're like oh <laughs> <laughs> like the first like zombie 2 comes out and you're like oh cool and you're like oh that was fucking weird and then <laughs> then, you're, then another zombie 2 comes out and you're like oh this this is gonna be the real one and you're like oh this is still not the fucking <laughs> real movie <laughs> so this is making me even more on board to do all of these I know um so and then the last week uh well yeah there's yeah last week is endgame versus robo war or strike commando game endgame has one of the most stupid scenes i've ever seen in my life (laughs) he his note is you could you could replace robo war with strike commando but robo war is way better Oh wait, no! I'm thinking of Strike Commando. Yeah, I'm thinking of Strike. Commando. Strike Commando is the movie you're thinking of, which is fucking insane. <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's why I want to watch it. <laughs> I know. Fuck. <laughs> Do all three, all three that he suggested. <laughs> so the fact that he knows Robo Wars is better than Strike Commando is fucking alarming. And well. <laughs> I agree with that. I agree with that completely. <laughs> and like, but that also is the reason I kind of want to ch- take Strike Commando over it. Because <laughs> choosing any like Maddie movie over the others, like, what are you doing? Like, what are you talking about? Like, they can't. There, there can't be that much of a difference where you're. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's no spike in quality between these two. <laughs> like, oh, this is where it really goes downhill. So I'd watch Robo War. <laughs> like, no, no, get the fuck out of here. But I do want to watch Robo War. Oh, I, I, we'll, we'll, we can make a decision or have uh, the Patreoners vote for it. <laughs> okay. All right. And then we just will do whatever we want. Um, and for the live show, of course, is Cruel Jaws. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> Which Paul can complain about us not inviting him to, even though the door is always open. <laughs> the door... I know Paul's going to listen to this. The door is open. We can t- tell him every day for the next four weeks that we're doing it. And he'll just be like, yeah, why would I want to do that? And then the day of the show, be like, good. I'll call him not here. And then he's out of state. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, I I don't know if we talked about it. On, I don't think we did talk about it. Maybe we talked about it on the show. But <laughs> fucking his, like... Paul does not use Instagram. Like, he does, but in a very rudimentary way. And the day we, quote unquote, didn't invite him to the show, which is not true, uh, he decided to start posting stories and tagging me and Joe in them. (laughs) Of like, he was like reposting stories so like the video would play in them. It was insane. I I don't even like really know how to do that. And he's tagging us in it. Once. He's tagging us and being like, here you go, guys. And it's like, it's like what you do when your friends don't invite you? <laughs> like weird fucking that meme. Face, that face you make when you're not invited. It was so fucking yeah. weird. And he's posting this for the world to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another good point. Because every other story he posts is always like close friends only. <laughs> you know, it's always in the green. This one he makes totally public. Dude, dude, fucking jabroni. Totally fucking public. Uh, 
he's he's the best though. Um, but the, the, that was like I was like Paul, of course. Like, what do you mean you're not invited? <laughs> <sighs> Dude, the people have been people have been literally asking for Paul to be on an episode since we announced we were coming back. Like, like we were like, "Hey, the horror show's coming back," and people were like, "Is Paul going to be there?" Like, give us a fucking break. We're like, let let us have our roses. We just announced we're coming back. So Paul's Paul's been requested for fucking months. Has he has he been on our actual show? No, no. And if you were to ask him, it's like we're asking him to do us the biggest favor in the fucking. World. So that's why that's why I don't understand his beef with us the last time. Also, he claimed that he didn't need to watch. Uh, <laughs> he, he didn't need to watch fucking uh, what what House of the House Dead. House of the Dead because he saw it once in two thousand three <laughs> and remembered everything. His exact words were, "I remember everything." <laughs> Which, by the way, I believe I one actually, time at a, a party at his house, uh, he was like reciting everything. <laughs> It's so nuts, dude. It's so nuts. He's a true, like, he's like a true, I don't even know what the word is, like a savant. It's crazy. Like, not just what he knows, but just, like, the way he delivers it also. Actually, I was thinking about it because Devin doing his, like, bit in, on the, on the, in the, in the Discord, um, of, like, everyone would be talking during, like, the segments of the movie, like, with Joe Bob and stuff. And then, and then Devin, including Devin, and then all of a sudden he'd be like, guys, we shut up so I could watch this movie. And I was like, dude, this is like fucking Paul, like a hundred percent. Like he will talk to you about something completely non-related to the movie, laughing so hard. And then as soon as you say something, he's like, we well, should just shut the fuck up. Like <laughs> fucking movies. I'm to watch this movie. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Yeah, that's happened to me so many fucking times. I can't hear a single word uh, about a movie I'm actually interested in. And then I'm like, oh, that's that guy. He's like, hey, Joe. <laughs> Pipe down. Are you me? <laughs> oh, that fucking shit cracks me up. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> oh, man. Also, for a bigger movie fan, you know, like movie fans are like this. Like, like movie, not, not even just horror fans, like people who love movies. Mm-hmm. Like, no, you don't talk through a fucking movie. Paul's arguably the biggest movie fan I know. I've never seen a movie with him where I can hear more than like <laughs> three words <laughs> during, during the entire bit because he just fucking talks to you the whole time. It's honestly unbelievable. And he does that thing. And I don't know if I'll be able to explain it properly. But when you tell him to stop talking, he stares at you and then moves his eyes towards the screen and then stares at you again. Like... <laughs> <laughs> as if he didn't know the movie was playing it was like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> sure, but Sean he, he's literally cartoon pulled on his collar before like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's so insane <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh, god bless his wife um <laughs> Well, let's talk about um, head of head of the family. What what are uh, your? Are, should people should people watch this movie? <laughs> no, no, no. They should. Usually, I'm kind of ambigu- ambiguous about it. Like you know, maybe you, you check it out. Don't yeah. don't fucking check, dude. This movie is about four disgusting freak <laughs> siblings who all have a special power for some reason. <laughs> And other, I mean, calling those special powers are, is honestly insulting. One, one of their special powers is being attractive, and it's just a girl with boobs. Um, but then, for some reason, there's a gigantic freak head uh, <laughs> who's also really smart. And then they kidnap a couple who are ginormous pieces of shit in their own right, and uh, makes the woman reenact a Joan of Arc play in, in his basement. It's fucking. Are you kidding me, Joe? It's ins- what Joe said is insane. That is the that is the true plot of the movie. That is the, that should be the synopsis because that's literally all that happens. It's all that happens <laughs> in an hour and twenty minutes. That's that's everything that happens. <laughs> Absolutely all the action that happens. The amount of like backstory and dialogue that he put into this. You are sitting on a giant prop head. Like you could have done so much with that, dude. They well, had maybe, like maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't do a ton, but like you, you could have done more than whatever this was. 
You also have, yes. I mean, this isn't a horror movie. It's not. It's it, not. Not at all. It, this is a fucking dialogue heavy uh, drama. <laughs> Agreed. Attempt at drama, and it's really fucking bad because you know there's no actors in this. It's, it's fucking crazy. Um, it, it's about two people having an affair and then deciding to. You know, it, it's like a classic story arc: two people having an affair. They want to get rid of the husband, which they do. But then, why are these freaks involved? And it, they could have gone so much more off the rails with it. I also love that the big wheel in this is like a heavy hitter in town, like a rich guy, the rich guy in town. And he's rich because he owns a fucking diner. He dresses like a fucking CEO and <laughs> owns a diner, owns the, the shithole diner. And he, gets, and he gets called out on that, too. One of the guys like, you can't be making a lot off of this. And the guy's like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's fucking amazing. It's so fucking weird. You've got that aspect. You've got um a lot of a lot of sex scenes. Which Joe, okay, this was when I knew I I was going to this was going to be a fucking nightmare. I mean, I knew it pretty early on, but <laughs> I, I especially knew it I especially knew it that when they were having full-on dialogue during sex. <laughs> I thought the same thing. They're having an affair and banging in, the, you know, what do you call that? Like the hidden storage like, room? Yeah, storage room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the restaurant. And and they're face-to-face banging and, and talking about, like, their future and their plans during it. And, like, what they shouldn't be doing. It's fucking ridiculous. It's the most insane thing. Dude, the, the one that lasted, like, five minutes and they're just fucking, like... <laughs> <laughs> They're just fake, and like think about it as an actor perspective. You're just fake fucking, and she's like, "So what's the plan?" And he's like, "Well, if you just gave me a minute to talk, I would tell you about the plan." <laughs> and he's like, "All right." This conversation so at any time before or after, you know. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do, and then like she's like interrupting the fucking plan while they're having sex. She's like, "No, you don't mean it," and he's like, "Hey, hey, just listen." <laughs> Like extending the scene, it's fucking crazy, <laughs> dude. Uh, and the last thirty minutes is entirely conversation. A play and a play <laughs> and a play. A and fucking play. <laughs> the big head is making her recite lines. <laughs> Be like, all right, no, say it with feeling. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! And like, you see the cover, and you're like, oh, I'm in. And even. When you start watching it, you're like, okay, this I, I can get behind this movie. Like, this is getting weird. This is fucking weird. Even the first sex scene, you're like, all right. like I agree. Even their affair and, like, their backstory, like, okay, shit can go, you know, th- that's a good setup, right? We've seen it before. Yeah. A decent setup. <laughs> and then we see the freaks come into, like, the restaurant. And, like, okay, these guys, it's kind of like the burbs, right? Right, right. Weird, wonky family. Like, they're going to be up to some <laughs> shit. We see them... <laughs> We see them drag an entire shrubbery across the field, um, <laughs> across the road, so they can kidnap somebody. Which they don't show the kill; they just show them like drag them away. Everything up to that, I was like, "All right, we're ramping up. This this might be awesome." And then it just does nothing. So chokes this, on its own fumes. This movie could not have gotten a theatrical release, right? Like, I, I mean, I know, I know it didn't, but like, I mean, it's Charles Band, right? It, it couldn't. Have. <laughs> so. So yeah, video premiere. Yeah. There's there's full frontal, okay, and yet for some reason they censored every kill in the fucking movie. <laughs> Dude, there's a scene where somebody bites another guy's eye out, and you're like, "Holy shit, did that really just happen?" <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Sorry, I literally just spilled my. Uh, my claw all over my pants, like like soaked. Like I'm gonna have to change after. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to change now? I don't. I'm just gonna sit in my fucking mistake and <laughs> okay. talk about it. <laughs> okay. That was the strangest noise. I should. Pro- I want to send it to you. It's fucking the most alarming sound I've ever heard. Well, I, I didn't know. That's why I brought it up. I was like, because you said, "What the fuck is going on?" It, it, it was me like rubbing uh, my phone because. It was obviously sitting on my lap, and oh, I'm honestly oh. soaked. Like, so. <laughs> 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 
No, keep it in. Keep it, I, I keep will. It. I will. I'll, I'll, I might edit parts of it, though. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> Because on your end, it, yeah, in your end, it won't edit the, uh, it won't, it won't have the sound, but I'll, I'll, I'll put the sound in. <laughs> so, oh boy. So yeah, so we meet these, we meet this whole, whole fucking gang. Um, oh, I looked up all these actors and actresses and, um, there's not a fucking, none of, dude, every single one of their IMDb photos is from this movie. <laughs> So like not, not a, a good thing side. to be known by. Not yeah. a good side. <laughs> Otis, um, he he's the big boy. He's the he's the muscle. He was in Jim Cotta as Thorg, and oh my God. and in the Line of Fire. <laughs> Clint Eastwood movie as Jimi Hendrickson. Yeah, <laughs> that <laughs> spectrum is like Hall of Fame worthy. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Cotta to in the line of fire. If his speaking roles in in the line of fire, like it'll blow my fucking mind, dude. <laughs> chewing up scenery with Clint, and also being known as the guy from fucking head of the family. What, what? Probably was weird, man. Where you're not even allowed to speak. You just say "pretty girl" the whole movie. <laughs> Laugh ferociously. Wait, is that wait is that guy? Yeah. <laughs> There's no way that guy can speak. Can that guy even speak? <laughs> he doesn't in this movie. <laughs> oh man! Um, and we meet the drug dealer whose name is Howard, um, and uh, he has a girlfriend named Loretta. That's the one that uh, the uh, the the Lance is uh, banging on the side, and uh, she's probably banging him on the side because uh, all Howard does is be like, "You fat fucking pig." <laughs> <laughs> He calls her chubby cheek. Like she is the least chubby person I've ever seen. Right, like, dude. All he talks about is her dump truck ass. I, I've never seen somebody with less of an ass in my life. <laughs> fucking non-existent. He's just like, look at this fucking gigantic ass. <laughs> like, literally, you don't see anything. And he's not talking about it in a sweet way. I guess. I guess that's the difference between the '90s and the 2000s, because. You know, yeah. Like now that'd be like a huge compliment. I'm all about He's it. <laughs> calling her disgusting. <laughs> He's like, you fucking pig. There's a line at the beginning that like I couldn't even wrap my head around, and he's like, "You keep eating that shit, you're gonna become fat as fuck." And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> she's eating ice cream, and she says something like, "It's low fat," or I, I don't even know what she says, but it's uh, she says something. But oh no, it wasn't even low fat. It was something else. And he's like, if you keep drinking that fucking cow milk, that's what's going to make you fucking fat. I'm like, what the f- Whoa. For a drug dealer, you're very (laughs) health conscious. (laughs) He did make that comment about cow milk. It was so bizarre. It was like, he was like, you drink that fucking cow milk. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking alarming. Uh, And that's why she's banging the diner guy lance who uh she's like d- during their love making when they're not you know reciting fucking hamlet they're she she's being like tell me howard's got a little dick <laughs> dude, dude, I, I forgot about that i can't think of anything i'd want to hear less dude all, I, all and i'm sex, definitely not gonna right? say it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like whether you're like, she's not even I, I wouldn't even want to be like, oh, man, your dick is way bigger than my husband's. Like, don't even say that. Like, I don't want to hear anything about your husband's dick or anybody else's dick. Like, why are you saying anything at all during sex? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. This is a one dick conversation. Like, we're not <laughs> talking dicks here, guys. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's maybe that's why Lance talk, constantly still, like talks during sex, just because she's going to be like, well, let me tell you about the other dicks I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, so you're saying that's why he he just controls the conversation. Yeah, he just talks. He just fucking like... <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm on board. I, I would do that too. He tells Please, his no plans for life out loud. <laughs> <laughs> so he's filibustering sex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's brilliant. Uh, that's I'm all on board now. <laughs> Because otherwise she's just going to be like, this guy's wiener anymore. Yeah. <laughs> she's just going to be like, Remember, you want to hear about my first boyfriend's dick? <laughs> but again, 
again, but again, he's the one that initiated that. That's true. Please tell me about your <laughs> what a, what an insane thing. <laughs> Please tell me about your husband's dick. <laughs> Oh my god, it's fucking incredible. <laughs> well, they're they're very afraid, and Howard the drug dealer almost catches them in the act of the affair. Um oh, you know what? Wait, let's cover these characters too. So you got Lance, who's the CEO of the diner, Howard the drug dealer, Loretta the is the uh the 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 girl in the in the love triangle. And in the creepy family, you have Otis, who wears a weight belt and sweats a sweatsuit. <laughs> Because he has to also show that he is uh, the strong man. Uh, you got Wheeler, who looks like, I don't even know, like an industrial goth mu- <laughs> musician. <laughs> fucking Devo. Yeah, Devo mixed with like Mumford and Sons. And like, it's just a fucking nightmare. And then my favorite name in the history of movies, favorite character name, Ernest <laughs> Ernestina. Ernest- <laughs> Ernestina. Who is the uh, the the lovely lady of the uh, whatever the fuck their clan's name is? What is their clan? They're the 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 fucking uh. spooky spooky people. <laughs> <laughs> They've got this stupid name, and I could never remember. I had to keep looking it up. This, this, uh, stack pools. Stack pools. Yep, yep. All right. So the stack pools. She's Ernestina Stackpool. And uh, she is a very, she's a very beautiful young lady. She is. Very robotic, though. She, so there's a little weirdness there. Yeah. Is that explained? Why she's a robot? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I, I know I'm asking a lot here. <laughs> kind of no. I, which is insane okay. because, Joe, they talk the entire fucking time. Like, you could have fucking... <laughs> It's fucking insane, but I I think it's sort of explained. But like the the explanation, of course, like what are we talking about here? The explanation does not make a ton of sense when we get down to it. And <laughs> you can find eight million reasons why it doesn't make sense. But essentially, the head, whose name is Myron, <laughs> <laughs> Myron, is he can he can technically control them all with his head, right? So I think they're all under a spell. But again, that's weird because. They're all not acting like that. And Wheeler seems to have a lot of like freedom to do what he wants to do. And Wheeler is his own guy. He just looks like a. He look, did he look. What's that guy's name from uh, Young Frankenstein? They got the, the fucking ridiculous eyes. Oh. I'm talking about. He plays oh, Igor. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what he looks like. <laughs> Igor. Um. Yeah, no, he looks exactly like that. But he he seems to be like the most like independent. But at the end of the day, like he, the, Wheeler will find out has supersonic hearing, smelling, and eyesight, which <laughs> is a bit that they'll do. And um, but Myron is like tuned into it, so Myron can hear everything he hears. Right, but then <laughs> so then My, Myron can all, Myron can also hear the, the couple having sex. At yes. some point. Yes. Because but why? Because well, Wheeler's sitting outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I thought, but he's not in the same room with them. No, but he's got he super, super he's right? the only yeah, one with super, super he's the only one okay. with the superpower. Okay. Which <laughs> But he, okay. So he controls he controls Otis too, right? The big strong guy. Correct. He controls all of them. But then the end of the movie, Otis is just like, uh and <laughs> does his own thing. And my and Myron's like, No, you son of a bitch. But but he, but he can't stop him. <laughs> so does he have any control at all? No. <laughs> like, the entire movie ends. <laughs> the entire movie ends because Otis just does his own thing. Even though Myron is still alive and is, like, trying to control him. But then but then the very end <laughs> implies that Myron is controlling somebody again. Yeah. he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what the end is implying? I think so. Oh, I think you're right. Oh fuck! I didn't even think about that. That's so stupid. Okay, um, they, they, dude, the one, the one time we can, need can I go <laughs> for fucking head of the family? Can I just go off topic real quick? I read on IMDb it was like uh, in 2020, head of the family finally got a long, long awaited sequel. Who the fuck <laughs> is waiting for the sequel to this? Uh, 100 percent Devin who. 
who signed me up for a three month subscription without my consent to <laughs> to to Full Moon, uh, whatever Full Moon streaming service is called. <laughs> Thanks for that, Devin. I do appreciate it. Uh, it's it's a streaming service full of fucking softcore pornography, so super neat. But yeah, no, that's that's the only people that would watch this stuff. I think. I, <laughs> and after watching Head of the Family, I'm now I'm more like, why would I watch anything from Full Moon? Of course, if this is like what could come out of the bag. Like the random bag, because like, dude, head of the family. You look at the cover. I'm like, I'm all in. It looks like a fucked up version. Oh, good. I, like, I would choose it in a second. Oh yeah, like it looks like, um, you know, obviously it has a resemblance to uh, Puppet Masters and like the way the cover's laid out. So you're thinking it might have that level of effects and like, you know, a story that's just even if it's fucking insane, which it's gonna be, it's a head on a wheelchair. Like that's even better. Like give it to me, but <laughs> it's not. Fucking most boring shit, and and the head, the head special effects. Can we talk about the head special effects and how it's just the Wienerville setup? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's just a guy poking his head through a, like a, a board, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest though. The scene where the guy throws is like wheeling him down the hall. I was honestly confused at how they did that scene. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's all Charles Band does, though, right? Is just make disgusting, prosthetic props. So I'm sure he's... Why Why can't we just focus on that for, like... Even if you gave me 30 minutes in this movie of just disgusting shit, I would have been so happy. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I just, this movie's an enormous disappointment. Imagine being disappointed at a Charles Band production, but somehow you fucking pulled it off. <laughs> So much fucking talking. Oh, my God. Um, oh, also, did you notice this movie has, like, 25 commercial break spots in it? <laughs> <laughs> like, Charles Band was like, this one's going to make it for TV, so let's make sure we put some commercial break spots in it. <laughs> <laughs> and he directed it under a pseudonym. Like, what, what is your fucking problem, guys, Charles? Guy's out of his fucking mind. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> the winner of um, Maddie versus uh, 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 D'Amato might go on to face Charles Band in the finals. Oh, what a nightmare. Of just like psychos who like use like pseudonyms for like no reason. Like we, we know it's you. You you distribute it yourself. Oh, I wonder who, <laughs> wonder who directed this. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to gain by that? <laughs> That's like released by Full Moon Pictures. You only release your own movie. <laughs> oh boy, who's this new upcoming director? Yeah, I, that is the best point because, like, I would assume you'd make an alias for this because you're embarrassed. Like, please don't attach my name to this movie. But then he's distributing it himself. Like, <laughs> fuck you, Charles. <laughs> <God. laughs> oh my god, Maddie's probably like, well, good move, man. <laughs> Pow, fucking power. <laughs> that guy knows what he's doing. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, they they keep also doing this bit where like Howard, this the the diner guy, like doesn't or no, the drug dealer like doesn't know big words, so he asks his girlfriend Loretta, uh, like what the word is that he's thinking of, and they're like not they're simple words, but they're just like bigger words, you know. Um, yeah. And every time she gives him a word that's actually an insult. And every time Howard knows what the fucking answer is anyway. <laughs> He'll be like, what's that word for uh, really smart? And she's like, dumb butt. And he's like, no, <laughs> you fucking ignoramus. <laughs> it's genius, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Weirdest fuck. <laughs> and it's just like such a waste of time. And it happens like six times at the beginning. Of the movie. <laughs> oh my god. Um the diner the diner waitress tells uh Lance that he's gonna have to kill Howard because it's the only way they'll uh be able to be together. And then another sex scene in the fucking car. Um there's so many fucking sex scenes in this movie. I I, I don't I don't think we've ever seen a movie with more. 
It's the same two people, and they talk during all of them. Fucking <laughs> sanity. On the other side of town, the stack pools are doing some to weird shit. A movie, sorry, but, but a movie with more sex scenes, and you don't see full frontal nudity until they're doing a, a Joan of Arc play. <laughs> <laughs> now it seems like the yeah, appropriate. So many, dude, so many ample opportunities to throw that in there. And that's, that's when you put it in. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> Oh man! So the stack pools are doing some weird shit out in their uh, neck of the woods. They they're we see uh, a trucker with the license plate hunk of love, and uh, by trucker I mean he's just driving a pickup truck. But everyone refers to him as a trucker in this movie because <laughs> clearly they couldn't rent an eighteen wheeler. They couldn't afford a Mac. <laughs> so uh, this trucker is uh, driving down, and the stack pools pull out a fence. That appears to be a, uh, uh, it's made to look like a bush with an arrow pointing left, which it's the most obvious thing in the world. No one would ever go down this route. Um, especially when you turn and all you see is a fucking house. Uh, but he goes, he goes down and he's abducted, of course, by, uh, the stack pools and Lance and Loretta, they see this and, uh, Lance gets some ideas. So, Oh, and then we also find out that the stack pools and Mar- Marin, the, the fucking head, they're they're performing like lobotomies on people. Yes. That doesn't make sense. No one knows why. I was just going to ask, what is Myron's endgame? Because at one point I was like, is he looking for like the perfect body? You know, because he's just a giant head. It's the he one. still just be a giant head on a fucking body. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> he might look weirder, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> he uh, he if, he talks more than anything. I was actually trying to pull up a word count uh, on this movie and compare it to like the the movies with the most amount of words in it. And I, I bet you it's up there, dude. I, I feel like it's up there. <laughs> I, I I really do, dude. Myron talks his fucking ass, but more than Myron is fucking Lance who. Dude, his monologue about blackmailing them was the longest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and he's hamming it up, dude, like he's going to win an award for this. And he's like, well, I do declare, Mr. Myron. <laughs> 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 fucking. And they're both trying to bamboozle each other. And it's in the most simp way. Like, it's just the most fucking simple headed way. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, we'll get to it. So they're they're lobotomizing people, right? But he never explains why he's doing it, except at one point he says world domination, and <laughs> which this is a weird way to go with it. And then also the only other thing he really mentions is he's like, he's like, you know me, I I love brains, and that, like that's that's he's like I've got an interest in brains. And Lance is like, oh. Okay. So I honestly just fucking Googled it. It says that he's doing it to find the perfect body to house his superior intellect. I don't think that's, I don't think that's explained. I'm going to be honest. I really don't like, I genuinely. It, it also doesn't make sense. He, he, uh, whatever. Go on. He's fine the way he is. He's doing great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like why does he need that when he, he's controlling his siblings? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What does he have to gain out of that? He doesn't. And and Lance shows up and tries to blackmail him with this information that he has about how he's uh, dumping cars in his back swamp and k- killing people. And Myron Stackpool is is just like, I, I can't even, like the two of them talking to each other is just insane. Like I said before, and it's like, like Myron's like, <laughs> he's like, also, dude, Myron's face. How disgusting is that? <laughs> the, the, I was thinking it was like the lines in his cheeks. Is that, guy, is that, that guy's real face, you think? It, it, dude, it can't be. <laughs> Nobody looks like that. <laughs> I, I'm honestly not sure. I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> Shut up, it can't be. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to Google the actor. Why, why, do your impression of Myron. <laughs> well, so Myron would just be like, Myron will be like, oh, so what's to stop me from just killing you now? Because you're stuck in my house with a bunch of my 
siblings. And then Lance will be like, well, I do declare, Mr. Myron, what if, what if I talked to my lawyer and wrote a letter, and the letter read that if I ever went missing or dead to check Myron Stackpool's house. <laughs> Dude, it's like a fucking battle of the wits, right? Like... <laughs> And it's two of the most idiotic human beings. Because then it cuts to Myron, and he's like, <laughs> "Like I've been, uh, I've been, uh, uh, I've been undone." <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, uh, Myron claims they're quadruplets, which I don't think they know the definition. Show this guy's face; it's not that far off. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> uh, oh my god, real. Joe, he's not it's not far off at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is the, that the, IMD the, community <laughs> 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 Did that centipite, you know, the one the oh fucking blob god. one? Oh my god. <laughs> it looks just like him. <laughs> he looks identical. <laughs> Oh my god, poor guy. It's like the least amount of money that Charles Band ever had to spend <laughs> making this guy up. <laughs> I mean, the sweat on his face had to be real. <laughs> Myron's sweating in every fucking scene. It's fucking awful. <laughs> it's so fucking repulsive. Oh boy, but uh also, yeah. why is Myron why does Myron have arms? Why does Myron have two little weird sticks for feet? It's so insane. It's so insane. Um, and by the way, Myron claims he's quadruplets with all of these people with, you know, yeah. bodies. And <laughs> and then, uh, and then, and then he, he goes on to explain the definition of quadruplets. Right. For like five minutes. Instead of just being like the four of us are siblings born at the same time, he goes into such great detail about what quadruplets so are. Yeah, you, might, the same. you might, you might want to know what a quadruplet is. <laughs> I know I know we all look similar, but we have little differences <laughs> that you might not notice. <laughs> For instance, I have no body I have no body. <laughs> oh man, and they all have little powers and uh we already went through that. So um yeah. So all of this is for Lance to uh he's going through all this trouble and fucking nonsense to get Howard the drug dealer killed. And yes. You know, even if that wasn't bizarre enough, it's even more bizarre that Myron's like, oh, my God, like, how can you, why are you asking me to do this, such a thing? <laughs> Myron constantly, when, during this entire process of killing a Howard, is just like, God damn it, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? It's so fucking weird. Uh, we get another sex scene, um, and then we see Howard, the drug dealer, right in his motorcycle home, and he finds her, Ernestina. And uh, is immediately taken out by Otis. Um, the diner gets a call saying it's done. Um, and again, yeah, we cut to the head who's got this like look on his face, like what have we done? What have we? F- what have we fucking done? Which is bizarre because they're just killing people constantly. But um, guess what? Another sex scene, and then another scene of Lance going down and talking to the fucking stack pools in their fucking living room for another fucking 10 minutes about um how he wants two grand a week and it's the most agonizing monologue i've ever seen like dude this guy was chewing the scenery dude like bad i know i i can't even believe you'd leave it in i can't believe somebody would edit this and be like cool like the people are gonna fucking love it (laughs) love it (laughs) myron's had enough uh he dispatches wheeler who can listen through walls and he hears the most disgusting conversation ever between these two <laughs> fucking weirdos. I mean, besides hearing them f- fuck, he has to listen to them before they fuck be like, because <laughs> he's like, how about dinner and a movie? And she's like, how about dinner and no movie? And again, dude, this is a movie people are paying to see at the time. Like, you, I can't like the fact that you're doing this to people that pay for this is insane. Just talking. <laughs> and she's like, and he's like, huh. she's like, how about dinner and no movie? <laughs> he's like, dude, it's almost like. Like, uh, not Lethal Weapon, uh, n- Naked Gun. Well, like, if <laughs> yeah, Naked Gun did this, you'd be, like, oh, yeah. I, you'd be like, oh, I get it. Like, that's funny. But, like, that's not what they're doing here. They're fucking doing real dialogue. Um, 
fucking insane so so she's like yeah how about dinner and no movie and he's like how about no movie and no dinner <laughs> and she's like you know you fill me up better than steak and potatoes that is fucking gross that's i was like what the fuck and then he gets her with yeah well you're the only hot fudge sunday i'm gonna dip my spoon in <laughs> All while Wheeler's just painfully listening to this. Which could have been a funny scene if Wheeler even, like, reacted at all to hearing this fucking disgusting shit. <laughs> just a fucking robot. And, and the only... And we find out that Myron is listening through Wheeler. And the only time Myron fucking speaks up is when they're, like, divide, you know, he he's... What's his name? Lance is spilling his plan about how yeah. he's gonna dupe Myron. And Myron's like, ugh, dupe me, huh? And then talks for, like... Another fifteen minutes about how much smarter he is, and it's Dude, it's crazy. Like, That's so one true. of those weird like just one of those weird like spliced cuts where you can see both things happening at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a fucking disaster. <laughs> it's a total fucking disaster. It's really weird. I'm so glad you like brought that up because that that is a hundred percent true. He's like, it like uh, and like you're having this guy fall. This guy has shaken you down twice. Of course he hates you. Like what are you talking about? And he's listening into them fucking, which again, <laughs> while they're fucking, he's like, this this little Myron's going to fucking pay for what he's done <laughs> while they're, while he's inside of her. And <laughs> it's just fucking, it's like, I'm going to fucking steal more money from him. <laughs> and Myron's like, this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> which would honestly be an uh, all right reaction if Myron swore, but instead he's like, hmm, do the, well, this to me, huh? You think you're smart, huh? That's true. Well, I, made, I, my sleeve. I made that scene way funnier than it was because it is. It's, <laughs> it's him mumbling in this like, like high pitch voice, being like, "Oh, you don't like me? Like, well, <laughs> if I knew that, then well, get ready for what you're about to get, Mister Land." <laughs> Fucking blackmailed. He's confused. <laughs> this guy. This guy doesn't want to hang out with him. <laughs> That's what he's most upset did, about. Yeah, like, guys did, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, he's his whole gimmick is having superior intelligence. <laughs> he's like <laughs> confused by that. You're breaking. <laughs> oh my god, oh, it's the most overacted piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. Um, well, through this, they somehow get the location of Lance's lawyer too, because um, the guy is just following him around, and they get the info because he talks to him on the phone. Um, so they send Otis over to get the the letter that, you know, that's the the key to the blackmail. Um, <laughs> Otis knocks out a female secretary, which <laughs> was, again, an alarming scene. <laughs> Whenever that happens, it's so fucking crazy. Um, but it, it, is, it, it was fucking hilarious the way it was done. Like, dude, the old, like, feet straight in the air after you get knocked out is just, like, the funny, <laughs> like, funniest cartoon shit of all time. <laughs> Rigor mortis at the, <laughs> being, being knocked out. Um, and then uh, they they get the letter from the lawyer and they kill him. And it's it's really just like an unnecessarily long scene, as as all of them are. Uh, there is another sex scene and another dialogue scene where he where <laughs> Lance discusses the entire end of the movie uh, while having sex. And, and, like, they get into an argument during sex it, in the same session. Like, it's so insane. It's so fucking weird. Can't, I just can't even imagine. Like, oh, uh, so this is too dialogue heavy. How about we have them have sex but not cut the dialogue? <laughs> uh, after he gets a call from the stack pool saying he's going to be getting a delivery and to be alone. So he goes home and Ernestina shows up and she takes off her top and starts sucking on his fucking toes. <laughs> and then <laughs> Otis fucking, they, they, they start having sex and Otis fucking knocks him out mid pump, <laughs> which, which also means Otis had to fucking carry him and his fucking hard ween around <laughs> to get him home. Wait, do you think, do you think you're... Peen stays hard when you get knocked out, or do you think that goes out? Great too? question. Great question. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> I mean, what? How many times has it even why, happened? Why? <laughs> like in the, in the history of the world. 
Honestly, probably a lot. You, you know, you, someone's caught cheating. It's just fucking wild from behind. <laughs> that's true. Um, that's true. It's probably happened you know, more times than not. That that can't be true. More times than not. Wait. Um, <laughs> Maybe. But like, why would it? Why would it go soft? I mean, why would the blood just leave it because you got knocked out? <laughs> Maybe like how the legs go up after you get knocked out. You actually go. You it get gets harder. Harder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like when Popeye yeah. hits somebody and it like, like they react like the fucking <laughs> like carnival game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm good. Do you lose your boner if you get knocked out? There's no way there's an answer for that on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the slowest typer in the world. I'm typing on my phone. Do you lose your boner if you get knocked out? It's probably wrong. There's no answer to it. I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue with the episode. We're so close to the end. Use it or lose it. <laughs> <laughs> Some scientists wonder if unconscious erections are good. Uh, I feel like it stays. You know what? There's no answer to this, but there's a Wikipedia page on the death erection. Oh, so, shit. Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> so I'm going to say yes. <laughs> if there's a death the cerebellum or- or spinal cord are associated with the death by well, this this is fucking this is fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've ever fucking read. Uh, <laughs> Other causes of death fatal gunshots to the head, hangings. They've all resulted in erections? <laughs> yeah, you get fucking boners when you're dead. <laughs> Dude, calling it, erections? calling it angel lust? <laughs> this, this is fucking bananas. Hey, uh, guess what? And let's cite it. Let's let's see where they're citing oh, this we, from. We, we can at we, Bernie's. We can at Bernie's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to, be so- fair, to be fair, that's, to be fair, that's not a site. That's that's just when it's used in popular culture. Okay, fine. But it would have been funnier if they were like, yeah, well, they, we, we, we discovered <laughs> this after here. watching Weekend at Bernie. <laughs> yeah, dude, 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 death erection, see also liver mortis. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck is liver mortis? <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. So I guess Otis had to carry this guy with a fucking hard on. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we confirmed it. Yeah. And they also capture uh a, a woman who that the, the lady uh I forget her name, Loretta, who I started typing Scarlet because while they were having sex she was like fuck your little Scarlet. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, is her name Scarlet? That's weird. I didn't think that that was her name." So I start calling her Scarlet, but that's not her name. Her name's Loretta. So No, no she says do the very first sex thing that they have in the diner. She's like, call me Scarlet. Oh, oh. And he's like, and then while he's talking to her, he keeps calling her by her real name. And she's like, no, I'm not her. I'm Scarlet. Like, it's fucking ridiculous. This is not a good relationship. <laughs> <laughs> this is toxic as shit. <laughs> uh, anyway, they capture both of them. They have uh, Lance tied up and another fucking monologue. And this monologue is the longest one, and it lasts. Um, this scene, this entire scene is 20 minutes, and it's just talking. Um, and that's an actual time stamp. It's a 20-fucking-minute scene of talking. Uh, it starts with Lance being like, with the head being like, hey, by the way, we got the letter, so that's over. And Lance is like, well, <laughs> what I do say, what if I told two other people that if I don't show up, you tell the district. It's literally the same bit of dialogue from the beginning. And the head's like, oh, well, uh, I guess I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> then fucking um, uh, Loretta starts trying to seduce the head, which sounds like it would be action. But it's Loretta just talking to him, being like, I love you forever, head. <laughs> <laughs> And which, ha- dude, it's so long this, of him this- being like, really? Do you love me? And her being like. Again, <laughs> a- again, somebody so intelligent, so fucking easily bamboozled. 
but the, but then it turns out this is honestly if he got bamboozled i would have actually at this point been fine with it because it would have been at least something that happened out of this dialogue but instead after 20 minutes he's like fucking psych <laughs> <laughs> so this entire well, scene is for nothing Wait, is that after he licks her boob? It is after he licks her boob. So he did it all the... <laughs> I, that, that was the scene we didn't mention. The, an enormous tongue comes out of the fucking head. And honestly, it's the most... It's the most... Well, I don't even know how I would say it. It's, it's something happened in the movie, finally. And th- that's the uh, agreed. thing. <laughs> agreed. Agreed. He, he just they licked. put so much effort... Into making that tongue too, right? Like, Dude, it's so more much. so than anything else in the movie. <laughs> and he licks Scarlet's nipple and basically like jizzes himself. <laughs> He's like, well, slurps, <laughs> slurps him from underneath all the way to the top, and just. <laughs> uh, and then he decides to. He's like, huh, "You fucking idiot!" And he's like, "Go kill her." <laughs> I'm like, dude, you wasted 20 minutes of our time. Dude, that's the final, that's the that's the third act of the fucking movie. Like, are you fucking kidding me? That's insanity. And then after that, there's another five minutes of him explaining why he puts on the play Joan of Arc. He's like, he's like, you know, when they bring in prisoners and make plays and I was like, no, what? What is this fucking idiot talking about? Anyway, the point of all this is he's doing a Joan of Arc play, and Loretta's going to play Joan of Arc, and uh, they're all they're all wearing shock collars, and the other people are played by his like uh, lobotomized, it's lobotomized, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you get more word sparring between Lance and the head, where Lance is like, I, I don't even know, dude. They're just arguing. We are watch at this point. We are watching an actual play unfold, mm-hmm. and then watching arguments between the the main character in the play. And her lover, and then the, the, her lover and the fucking head. It's just, <laughs> such a mess. <laughs> it's such a fucking mess. And also, the play that we're forced to sit through is by people that can't talk. Like, that's the whole joke of it. <laughs> and it's fu- it gives you a fucking headache, dude. Like, the lobotomized people are like, oh, Joan, this is that. And then the normal human Joan talk or L- Loretta talks, and she can't read. She can't fucking read and she's playing that part and it's just insanity to, to hear she's it's awful you don't understand anything they're saying <laughs> and the head just keeps being like stick to the script please <laughs> <laughs> and then and then they finally light the torch to light the fucking Joan of Arc on fire and, and again Lance is still like word sparring with the head where he's like <laughs> well you wouldn't light your whole house on fire, would you? <laughs> and Head's like, well, I fireproofed the whole th- the whole stage. <laughs> well, it's like two kids making up a story and they're just trying to one up each other. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm invisible. Like, <laughs> <laughs> which did, he he didn't fireproof shit, right? What is this guy's end game? Uh, he did not fireproof shit because his fucking, his like kill switch in the house is lighting the house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What a dumb movie. <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, and they light up the girl, uh, but Otis suddenly uh, breaks free from Head's hold on him and is like, pretty girl, not her. Um, so he steals her and then hits like the, the kill switch in the house. Um, it was very reminiscent of, uh, how the new Halloween movie. Cause it, <laughs> he had placed all these weird little like gas pipes on like the, like the, the, the floorboards of the house, um, to light the whole house on fire. So as Joe pointed out, no, the house is not fucking fireproof. <laughs> um, yeah. Meanwhile, Lance, uh, they all kind of run away. They scatter and Lance gets his hands on Myron. And um, I guess it's the second best scene in the movie when he throws Myron down a flight of stairs. They <laughs> <laughs> just throw a big stuffed animal with a giant head down the stairs. <laughs> and then again, the only scene that, that like the things that they censor are so weird of, of, of Lance biting off Wheeler's fucking eyeball. 
and you don't see it. And then it, we cut back and then it's just my fucking Wheeler has no eyeball. He's missing an eye. <laughs> There's not even blood around Lance's mouth. <laughs> like Lance is totally fine. Right. But, which also, are we supposed to be, I don't even know. What, what a stupid fucking ending. Anyway. There, there's no clear cut uh, protagonist in this. Yeah. That's, that's what I was just thinking. I was like, wait a minute. Are those the guys? That, uh, anyway. Loretta and Otis escape the house. The house goes up in flames. Everyone's fucking dead. Although we did see Head and Ernestina, whatever, um, Ernestina was fine, and she's, at the end, she's kind of, like, overhead. So, there's a potential that she could have saved him, right? Um, right. So, th- that's there. But, anyway, they go outside, and then Loretta talks for fucking ever to Otis, a character who can't talk, by the way. And, and just talks forever. Ultimately, just <laughs> narrating, narrating, like, what's happening, where she's like, Oh, yes, Otis has a lot of money. So what He if inherited the family's I, money. <laughs> I, what if I marry you, Otis, and then I would get the money? Would get the money. Like, you don't have to tell. Like, we've been watching this whole fucking piece of shit. We know. Like, we, we're not fucking idiots. Like, what, it's fucking insane. She's like, you know, if you get married, you get to inherit their money. Otis, Otis Literally is like, Literally something oh. she said. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then you think that's the end, but it's not. We come back and uh, Loretta and Otis are getting married. Um, in a, in, I don't even know where. They get married. Um, and Loretta's, uh, Loretta thinks she's pulled the wool over this guy's eyes. She says, don't you just love a happy ending? And then Otis laughs for fucking 60 seconds straight. <laughs> the big bellowing laugh. Which now I which, get it. Which implies it, yeah. Myron's controlling him. Yeah, which I didn't realize. I was just like, oh, that's fucking weird and stupid. But, like, what's Myron getting out of this? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> like, why, 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 is, why is this a good thing for him? <laughs> also, if Myron's in these guys' heads, can't he, like, fuck through them? Why, like, why does he need a body? I know that's exactly what you said like, an hour ago, but <laughs> why does he need a body? <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> fucking Charles Band. He's a fucking idiot, man. <laughs> Honest to God, fucking idiot. <laughs> Living off his two subscriptions that you and Devin. <laughs> Dude, the movies on there are fucking unbelievable. Wait, what? What? It's full full moon movies. I, I got to see if my subscription's still active. I, I'm pretty sure Devin got me th- three months. And I was like, Devin, I'm going to pay you back. How much was it? And he wouldnn't tell me. I imagine it was like $3. <laughs> $3 or <laughs> Dude, all he sells is fucking porno now. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, my God. Look at this. Nine awesome Blu-rays packed into a killer case with extra space so you can put other shit in it. What are the movies? Oh, I want to I read the movies to you. <laughs> the killer movies. What are they? They're... Oh, God. Um, Evil Bong. Oh my god. Wait, is it just nine Evil Bong movies? Wait, how many Evil Bong movies are there? <laughs> Whoa, dude. What? <laughs> this guy never ceases to fucking amaze me. It's it's, <laughs> it's insane. It's fucking insane. And dude, they sell so much um they sell so, they sell so much like merch. Like they've got like toys and shit that they sell. I- all the cons you go to are just like jam packed with fucking band production uh, figures and stuff. Hey Joe, there are not there are nine evil bong movies. <laughs> when are we doing them, <laughs> dude? <laughs> doing, doing all evil them. bong, evil bong two, king bong, <laughs> <laughs> evil bong movie list. I got, I can't believe that there's fucking nine of them. That's insane. I feel like the first first one came out in two thousand six. Starring Ch- Tommy Chong, <laughs> of course. We're we're. I just want to. No, li- Sean, Sean, he made a coronavirus movie, but like it was like April second of twenty twenty. So like the coronavirus was, was just hitting. Like the pandemic was just starting. He somehow managed to turn out an entire <laughs> full length movie. <laughs> 
Dude, see, this Evil Bong list. Okay, anyway, I, I don't know. So, you got Evil Bong, King Bong, Evil Bong 3, the Bong... <laughs> the Bong of what? Dude, you can't even fucking read on their website. It's fucking... Just terrible fucking movies. Um, And it doesn't list. But, e- dude, even the Wikipedia hasn't been updated to include them all. So, like, I don't even know if they're fucking released yet or not. <laughs> <laughs> fucking insane uh oh here evil bong evil bong 2 king bong evil bong 3 the wrath of bong ginger dead man versus evil bong evil bong 420 evil bong high five evil bong <laughs> evil bong 666 wait the next one's the best one evil bong 777 <laughs> <laughs> and then uh we we Weed G's. Weed G's. <laughs> Halloween night. <laughs> but Somebody wait. suggested that in our Discord and was like, anyone got any good stoner horror movies? <laughs> Somebody said Weed G's. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Um they also have a uh they have a they have a resin statue of um head of the family. <laughs> Thirty-five dollars. I think we should give that away. I would I, do not fucking buy that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! And then they're making a ginger weed man. <laughs> okay. Not even a proper like fucking pun. <laughs> ginger weed man. <laughs> oh fuck, Charles Band. I'm really excited for uh, you know. Whatever we're doing next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. So I'll put a schedule. Uh, D'Amato versus, uh, I can't do the names. Maddie. They just, Maddie. They Maddie. like combine. Um, my wife's maiden name. Oh, man. Maybe they're related. Oh, my God. She's that would be Italian. Fucking incredible. <laughs> heir, heir, to the, <laughs> heir to the Maddie fortune. Heir. <laughs> Dude. I'm not- I'm going to get one of those kits now, those ancestry kits. Dude, they'll be like, you owe us money. <laughs> you're, being su- you're being sued we've by been, every film We've company. been looking for the next the next of kin. Yeah. Uh, you owe Universal, uh, <laughs> Paramount, everyone, a shitload of money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to definitely be doing next week. We'll start in on our uh, Maddie the whatever M- mvd mvd uh mvd uh thing we're going to be doing absurd and shocking dark for the first shameless ripoffs week which are all shameless ripoffs but it's fine and that's it man you got anything oh we're going to be at um monster mania con um tickets are sold out so if you don't have them i'm sorry uh, i think we're going to be doing a limited run shirt and i think what i'll do is um Cause we got a lot of people that were like, I really want that shirt. Cause I've been showing some people, uh, I think for Patreon members, we'll put up a pre-order for them where they can just order it through us. Um, and then, and then everything else is going to be at the con and then maybe we'll have a handful after the con to, to sell. Um, and then that's when we'll also release the remaining shirts that we have for, uh, the last run. So, um, it's going to be cool. It's a cool design by Michael Seymour Blake. Um, so I'm excited to uh, get that one out there. So I'll post that on Patreon if you're a Patreon uh, subscriber. And uh, speaking of that, patreon.com slash I hate horror. Um, we're doing uh, Discord, which people love, I think. Um, I, people are signing up strictly for the Discord, which is insane to me. Um, people are interacting on the Discord during our live shows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The community is so strong that they're doing their own thing uh, while watching their lives. Yeah, so. yeah, they were uh, illegally streaming another fight <laughs> <laughs> while in the middle of our fucking live show. And then I came in, I went into the Discord, and they were like, oh, shit, Sean's in here. <laughs> they thought I was <laughs> mad or upset, which, like, I, wa- I wasn't. I, but I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was like, what the fuck? But I was like, and they were like, well, we were listening to you and watching it. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. You were not. <laughs> Funny as shit, dude. 
I got like apology messages, like sheepishly apologizing. Be like, oh, oh my sorry, God. I did it. <laughs> I didn't care at all. It was just fucking weird. I, I just saw somebody was live in the voice channel. I was like, well, that's fucking odd. And I went in. They're all just watching and talking about a fight. And I was like, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> It was like fucking like popping in and like you open like the bedroom door and like your friends are making out at a party or something like, oh shit, sorry, sorry guy, didn't mean to interrupt, fucking parties out here though. Um, but yeah, no, it was cool, man. It was cool. Um, yeah, that was, that's fun. So head on over to patreon.com slash I hate horror. Um, we do bonus episodes basically weekly, um, at this point, which is wild. Um, and uh yeah, Instagram.com slash I hate horror, I hate horror.com and twitter.com slash uh Twitter we're at I hate horror show. Joe, where can they find you? Instagram boognish nineteen eighty five. Did you have anything else to say? I feel like I cut you off. I most definitely did not. Okay, great. <laughs> Thanks. <so. laughs> um Anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. And get ready. Absurd versus <laughs> fucking whatever. I should really iron this out before I, like, try fucking. <laughs> shocking, shocking dark. Shocking dark, which is Terminator 2. <laughs> which is aliens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I'm so excited. Like, those are going to be so much funnier than fucking Head of the fucking family. Like, what a fucking nightmare. It took me two days to watch Head of the Family. (laughs) (laughs) All right, guys. Anyway, thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. And uh, for Joe, this is Sean. Stay weird. Thank you. Adios. Fucking zombie getting sliced and diced. The monster. Butcher. 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 Butcher.